Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Rousselt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. Today we're going to be learning how to create a checkbox dynamically. When we create a checkbox dynamically, it is created with code and it only displays in runtime. So instead of, let's add a checkbox. So instead of um, assigning all of these properties and events to it at design time like here, we're going to be, we are going to be um, giving it these properties with code. So let's start. First, let's add the variable for the component. Then checkbox. It is of type checkbox. Just want to move my screen a bit. Okay. And then we say then checkbox colon equals check box dot create and then in the brackets here it he wants an owner so the owner is basically responsible for destroying the component um, so that will make it the form because when the form is destroyed then we want the component to be to be destroyed as well then we say checkbox dot parent we say the parent equals to the panel pnl parent this panel here because um, you want the um, checkbox to uh, display on the panel like currently the form is a parent of this button and the button is a child of the form same goes for a panel this panel okay and you can also read this you can pause the video and quickly read this and um, we not send this to me um, on our dev programming whatsapp group which you can also um, find in the link in the description um, Pause the video and read this if you want. So, that's basically the difference between owner and a parent. Now the next stuff. Now you can go and give it a height, um, like hundred, and also a checkbox stored a width. Also, for instance, like let's make it four hundred. You can give it left property such as uh, that you can give it a top property checkbox one oh, dot and all of these things can you give it but let's make that so you can give it these uh, different properties but I'm just going to be giving it I'm going to be aligning it to top so check box dot align l uh, let's quickly clear this. You, know, you need a height. Let's give it a height of uh, 100 is fine, I guess. Um, let's give it a top property. But we are going to be giving, giving it the top property of the panel parent dot height. This just to make sure that it's aligned um, at the bottom of all of, of all of the top aligned checkboxes. Okay. And then, then let's give it a check box dot um let's give it the text oops caption make the caption let's first go and create a public a uh, global variable we'll say i count it is of type integer and in create you just make sure it starts at zero i count then every time you click the button, you're just going to be increasing the icon, and then the caption will be of the of the dynamic checkbox will be dynamic check check box plus i count to string, so we can see the number of what 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 it is. Let's change the font size. Check box dot font dot size. We can make the font size 20. Let's compile and check and check this out. As you can see, the different compile now the different ones are created. Let's make the height 75, 70. So you guys can see now, see now that, that 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 it works. You can click it and stuff. You can also set 
um, it checked by default means that you can say then check box dot checked con equals true then it will start as already checked as you can see okay um, now if you guys can see like every component also has like events now let's, now, now let's give it a, an on click event okay so go to the public declarations here and we say procedure then check box click give it a sender the object okay and then here we declare basically t if I am home dot then checkbox and then we just say show message and here we want to display the caption of the um, dynamically created checkbox which is currently clicked when the person clicks on it so we say sender as t checkbox dot caption so this will then take the checkbox that is clicked on and give us the caption of it now we just have to assign it to the dynamically created checkbox dot um, oops what am I doing now dot on click and we assign it to the then uh, checkbox click that will work let's see if we can do something else as well plus uh, is plus uh, let's just do it like this no reason to add more stuff to it okay so now we'll create uh, some components let's see if we click on this one then this place as the caption or this one or this one or this one as you guys see that works so that's basically how to create a dynamic checkbox and to assign events to it so thanks for watching guys please make sure to like comment subscribe and share if this video helped in any way i'll see you in the next video bye